Hello and welcome to next Priya's quick learning video. Today we will speak of MOSFET requirements for DC-DC converters in modern automotive applications, mainly low and medium power applications. First, first one being a push converter, which, which can be used in LED headlight application. And second one we will speak of solenoid control, which can be used in fuel injection systems. So let's have a look in our first application. It makes use of boost converter with a boost MOSFET of around 80 to 100 volt. And we have LED string that serves as a headlight, which makes use of several LEDs in a string. And depending on how many LEDs are there, we would need around 30 to 60 volt of driving voltage to drive them. Since the driving voltage is uh, high, which is around 30 to 60 volt, depending on how many LEDs are there, we would need rated MOSFET of around 80 to 100 volt. Of course, losses are important here. So for that, uh, let's take an example of frequency 200 kilohertz. So for that, switching time needs to be very fast. So that we have a low switching losses. And for the conduction losses, of course, are very important. Uh, conduction losses should be very low. For that, we will use uh, reduced RDA zone MOSFET. Let's take example of our second application, which makes use of buck converter and a boost converter with higher voltage of around 50 to 70 volt. This higher voltage is needed to ensure rapid response of solenoid injector here. And uh, we will need uh, reduced losses, which is conduction losses here. So we need low RDA zone MOSFET here at rated voltage of around 8200 volt. This boost MOSFET and this uh, selection MOSFET both need to be rated at the same voltage. The selection MOSFET will decide which injector is needed. Normally, there are like several injectors in here. So we are using only single injector, solenoid injector in this example. We have a high side switch which is rated at 40 volt, which ensures that we have a low ripple current compared to using the boost supply. And it also holds the current here and also controls the peak current here. During this steep slope, boost MOSFET is on. During this steep slope, it is flowing through the boost diode here. In combustion engines, temperature could be well beyond 100 degree or ambient temperature. So in this case, thermal designs would be challenging. Therefore, we would need MOSFET package and ball level reliability that can withstand those high temperature ranges. In next Priya, we offer 80 to 100 volt MOSFETs that can offer that. That includes low RDA zone for exceptional robustness and ball level reliability. That can offer reliable packages, fast switching for high efficiency, of course with reduced switching losses, and good switching behavior with reverse recovery and damping. And of course, they have a strong thermal performance that can offer that. For more information, visit nextpria.com slash automotive MOSFETs. Thank you for watching.